She is the organizer of the new expo for 2013. How are you doing today, Anne? Good, yourself. Nice seeing you. And nice seeing you. Yeah, so do tell us a little bit about this year's event. Oh, there's so much to say. Where do I start? Oh, okay, let's have, how we'll start at the beginning. Yes. How many exhibitors? Yes, please. We have over 70 exhibitors, and uh, they range from uh, car dealership, to medium, we have all sorts of people there this year. Lots of food, lots of personal services like massage therapist, holistic health. Um, we also have pilon fasteners for the men of the house that wants to check out tools and accessories for uh, the men. And um, yeah, it's very filled with a lot of different exhibitors again this year. So for people that come from outside Clarence Rockland who want to come here, what is the expo all about? It's all about community, it's all about fun, and it's all about the businesses in Clarence Rockland. All about the businesses in Clarence Rockland. And you have about 70 participants this year, you said? Yes, we have over 70 participants. Over. Yeah. So you did an expo last year as well, and are your numbers from your numbers from last year are they are you expecting just as much or a lot more this year? Well, we, last year we had four thousand people, wow. visitors. This year we're expecting five thousand. It's just you know it's the third year of the event. People know about it now, uh, so there's no education, I guess, to be made uh, in the area. Everybody knows about the expo. We also have this year the uh, pumpkin uh, contest. Pumpkin contest? Yes, the pumpkin decorating contest. So. Every, everyone can participate from young to old and uh, basically you take a pumpkin and you turn it into whatever your imagination takes it. It's not a carving, it's a decoration. Okay, so you and don't carve the pumpkin? You don't need to carve it. And basically we're trying to get people to use recyclable material okay. and turn it into uh, something wild. Seriously? Yes. So the first year we did it, we had 60 participants. Last year we did a Christmas decoration contest. We had 120 participants. Wow. So this year we're bracing ourselves for a lot of pumpkins. So very, very cool. It's going throughout the schools. Okay. So all the school kids in Cannes Rockland have this form. This is the French form, but we have an English form like this. And basically we'll see where it takes us. So they come on Thursday, they need to be bringing their pumpkin to the Jean-Marc Lalonde Arena Thursday between three in the afternoon and six at night. And on Saturday, um, it will be displayed for everyone to see. And on Sunday, our judges will come by, they'll pick three in each different age group, and we'll be presenting it to the crowd at the expo. Wow. So it's a popular vote. So anyone that brings a pumpkin, Bring your family, bring your friends to the expo because if you're the chosen one and you end up on stage, it will go with how um, much cheering there is in the crowd. Oh, really? So that will tell us which one's the winner. Do you have uh, age groups that you uh, put them in? Yes, three to five, six to eight, nine to 12, 13 to 17, and adults. And what exactly are the judges looking for when they're looking at these pumpkins? They're looking for originality. That's number one. Okay. They're looking for recyclable material usage, and they are looking for age appropriate. So, you know, the parents that are tempted to do their three-year-old pumpkin, let them be. Let them <laughs> explain to them how to do it and just let them create their own magic. Wow. That is going to be so cool. And you say it's on Sunday is going to be the judging? Yes. So at noon the judge will be announcing the top three in each category. So everybody, you know, come by and check it out. Is there still time for people who don't have a form or didn't get a form from the school to fill out and join? Yes, they can go to expoclarencerockland.com and they can download the form right there. So if they want a form, it's, everything is on the site, on the website. And it doesn't cost anything to participate? Nope, free. Well, how about to get into the expo itself? Free. Free. Everything's free. Everything's free. Yes. 
No, the food's not free. No, though, the right? food's not free. Okay, but to get in is free. <laughs> yeah. Is there resources there that will actually take care of the children while parents go look around this year? Yes, with the same as last year. We have the daycare, the Clans Rockland, uh, the city of Clans Rockland daycare, and they'll have a, f a full area where the parents can leave their children, or you know, while you can watch your kid play, I guess. And they have science corner. They have all sorts of stuff to keep them busy. Oh wow! What what else is in there for the children? make it a family event? Uh, Jojo. Oh, Jojo's here again. Yes, actually. Jojo's there, and she will be performing uh, on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. So um, I guess it will be a, probably about half an hour show. And, you know, the kids just love her. She's just so great with children. Does she only have the one show on the Saturday? Yes, she only has one show because at the same time as the expo was going on, uh, she f the sa Four Season, I guess, Station Quatre Saisons, that's the French name for it, they're having a big dog race that weekend. Oh, and wow. this is where Jojo resides full time. So <laughs> Jojo needs to go back there and take care of some stuff. Oh, wow. So, But they'll be at the, the, the expo. Station Quatre Saisons will be at the expo promoting their event and promoting the station also. Oh, wow. So. And how about people that are coming into Clarence Rockland to see it. Is there parking available? Um, is there transportation available from inside Rockland? Or? No, it's, uh, it's parking available at the arena okay. and on the streets along the arena also. So what arena is it being held at? Jean-Marc Lalonde. The Jean-Marc Lalonde Yes. Arena? And the event starts when? It's Saturday between <laughs> 10 and 5 and Sunday between 10 and 5. And Friday night, is there anything interesting going on Friday The night? Friday night is the exhibitor night, so it's a networking event for the exhibitors. So that's what's being held at that point. So it's not open to the public. So it's just the Saturday It's just the Sunday. exhibitors, yeah. So when uh, the people come, is you said you were going to have automobiles. Is, yes. Do explain. Yes, uh, Rockland Ford's there. They're taking uh, this year four spots on the inside, so showcasing their vehicles. Uh, there's uh, Belanger, Chrysler, also showcasing their vehicle, Mazda showcasing, and um, Myers showcasing their vehicle. So we'll have a lot of cars. So if you're in the mood to shop for cars, now is the time to come and check out their selection. So people that are going in there, they can actually find almost anything they're looking for? Oh, yes, definitely. Food. Uh, there's also some fashion shows, Giant Tiger. Uh, one fashion show on the Saturday, Excuse me. one fashion show on the Sunday with Giant Tiger, and East Swell, you know the little board shop that just opened? Mm -hmm. They're catering to this like skateboard market, mm -hmm. and uh, basically this year the expo, we're um, helping the Joel Gauthier Skate Park. Oh, okay. We're, um, we're having an area where they, where they will sell um, cotton candy, uh, popcorn, slushies, and the funds that they will make selling the, uh, those items will go towards the skate park, the phase two of the skate park. Wow. So um, that will be a great, uh, a great fundraising event for them. What else would we be able to actually find when we go in there? Say we want to spend a whole day. Can you keep us busy for a whole day? Definitely. From the moment you come in, there's, uh, you know, your insurance guy, there's the renovation guy, they're selling all their, you know, the eating system, the eating season starting. Oh, this is true. So, you know, you need to get stuff checked out. We have people on site, DCV who is there. Uh, you're thinking about winter time, we have cyclone, snow removal right at the door. Oh, really? It's ready for your contracts if you need snow removal this year. Um, you need a trailer. There's uh, ML trailers on location. Uh, you need jewelry. Fifth Avenue collection oh, is wow. on uh, the spot, yeah. So it's very diverse, like you're touching all areas. And uh, Party Rental is uh, sponsoring the booth where the Christmas, the, the Christmas, the pumpkin decoration contest is. Mm -hmm. So that, that display is gonna be amazing. Oh, I can imagine. The uh, other person that we have <laughs> is uh, Yves Drouin. He's the bodybuilder. Oh, wow. He's preparing for a bodybuilding show for Mr. Ottawa in November. So he's lean 
and he's going to show us some posing, oh, some wow. body ball. And he's going to be doing it throughout the weekend. So you'll be able to see him on stage at different times. Wow. So that's going to be exciting for the men and for the women, <laughs> actually. Pleasing to the eyes. <laughs> also, the Rubik's Cube uh, champions. I don't know if you've known about these guys. The, I don't think so. No, from, yeah. they're from L'Escal. And one of them is the North American champion. Of Rubik's Cube? Yes. Wow. They'll be doing demos on Saturday. So that's going to be a very good show in itself to check out. Mm -hmm. So there's Antoine, André Quentin, and Matthew Snook. And uh, basically, they'll be showing us tricks. Wow. They can even do Rubik's Cube with their feet. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, man, that's got to, that's got somebody's got to see that. I do it with a hammer. I don't know about you, but <laughs> I'm very... Uh, well, I play with it. But yeah, mm. I don't have patience for that stuff. With your feet? Imagine that. That's going to be feet. awesome. Blind. <gasps> they can all do... Yeah. How they, can you do a Rubik's Cube one? How can you yeah, do that? You have to come to the expo to check it out. Because <laughs> I can't figure it out. So that's going to be very exciting. And um, yeah, Jojo, the sh oh, we have a surprise performance also. I'm not telling you the day. All I can tell you is that there's a, a dance troupe from Clarence Rockland that will be performing. Wow. But it's a surprise. So you have to come to the expo both days to check Find it out. out. Find out. Wow. You can't get a, give us anything, anything more on that? No. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you can also go on our Facebook. Oh, yes. So we've been posting on Facebook and uh, very interesting stuff that will be happening throughout the, the weekend. You were talking about uh, restaurants that are going to be there, or the food. What kind of a variety of food are you going to have at the expo this year? Uh, Rosaline is there, so that's basically your Italian fare. Uh, chez le Boulanger, so the bakery. We'll also have Desjardins Catering, uh, L'Orignal Packing. They have sausages that they're usually offering to the public. And uh, Cuisine Jimmy, Cuisine Volante will also be there. So they each will, you know, give people or show people the different foods that they're offering. There's a winery also. Are you yeah, Stratmore Wineries from Monklin will be there. And I think they'll give tasters, so oh. you can uh, check those guys out. That's going to be really cool. Yeah. So how much preparation did it take to get you from point A to October <laughs> 19th? We basically start in the spring, and uh, the exhibitors, finding the exhibitors, we were lucky this year, being our third year, people know about the expo now. Mm -hmm. So um, about two weeks ago, we were full capacity. So it's, it's, a, it's a steady workload up until the end, on the 19th, 20th. Wow. So I guess you're going to be like dead tired on the 19th and 20th. At this point, no. I, don't, I think that it's been going so well. We've, our exhibitors are all booked up since a few weeks back. The last that we had to do was the promotion. Mm -hmm. so, and that's been taken care of as of yesterday. All the schools have all the paperwork, uh, all the stuff that they need to uh, advertise the expo and the, the, the contest. So, you know, the pace is going to be nice. Like, uh, compared to the first, the previous two years, where the pace was yeah, really demented. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this year, third year, you know, a couple of years under a belt, so we know where we're looking at. And, no, it's going to be nice. It's going to be good. So, for people that would like to find out more information, where could they find it? ExpoClarenceRockland.com is the website but also on Facebook. So just do Expo Clarence Rockland on Facebook and you'll find our page. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the people of Clarence Rockland? Come on down and have fun. It's for the whole family. Bring the kids. Yes, the kids will love it. Yeah, make sure they make the pumpkins. Yeah. Oh, do you supply the pumpkins? No, they have to go. I've seen them uh, between Bourget and uh, Clarence Creek. There's a, a strawberry, um, la, what's their name? L'Amoureux, I think, is the name of the place. They have tons of pumpkins there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So that's a good place to go pick those up. I think that Independent has some, a nice big display of pumpkins. So I, and I would go for the medium size, not too big, because otherwise it's hard to carry around. And So a nice, this size pumpkin is perfect for this. 
So a nice medium sized pumpkin. Yeah. So come on down and see what's going on and have a great time. Well, we'll see you there. I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.